sorry. Hi. This, <laughs> this is my friend Kate. She's actually my next door neighbor. And today it's summer and it's hot outside and we are going to be making strawberry shortcakes in a jar. So if that's not cool, I don't know what is. So that's what we're making. Okay, so the things you're going to be needing, like the main ingredients is you're going to need obviously a mason jar. You can use whatever size you really want. This is a pint pint size. And then you're going to be needing some strawberries and some jello pudding mix. This is just the vanilla kind. And then we're just using some extra creamy whipped cream. And then we have some bisquick. <laughs> and then obviously you're going to be needing like a spoon and like a bowl. That's kind of like a no-brainer. And you're going to need a pan, but you guys are smart. You already know that. Okay, now we have all of our ingredients laid out and measured. And so, okay, the baking mix, we have, <laughs> I have to look at my cheat sheet over here. It's two and a third cup of baking mix. Make sure you get all the lumps out and then it's super duper soft and that there's no lumps. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of butter. And make sure it's melted. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> melted butter. Melted butter. After we put the butter in, now you're going to add one fourth cup of just granulated sugar. And I put extra sugar in here because I like it really sweet. Because last time I made these, they weren't as sweet. So you can add a little bit more according to how much you want. And now just mix it up so it's all blended. Now we're going to add one half cup of milk. Now we're just going to mix it. Make sure you preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Now after you mix all of your ingredients, we're just going to lightly spray our baking sheet with some cooking spray, or like Pam, but make sure it's only a little bit because actually the recipe calls for not to spray it. But last time I made these, they were really like, oh, wow, that's hard. <laughs> last time I made it, it was really hard to get them up, so I'm just gonna spray it lightly like very lightly but yeah now well, this is the hardest container ever anyways now we're going to use our ice cream scoop and just scoop out some dough and put it on here Alright, now that our oven is preheated and we have them all on our tray, we are now going to place these in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. While our like shortcakes are baking, we are now going to cut up our fruit. We are just using strawberries, so we have ours laying out. We make sure you wash your fruits and so we have some of them here and some of them here on this rag, just drying, and then we're gonna cut them and put them in this bowl. And yeah, so I'm just gonna cut on like this, just in like circles, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever your little heart desires. Now for our awesome frosting, whip topping little Thing. We're now going to mix in our extra creamy whipped topping, but you can use light, you can use whatever you want to use. We should get all of this in here. And you can just even use this, you don't have to use the pudding into it. And you can also mix in yogurt, like just plain old vanilla yogurt, but we are going to use the jello pudding mix. I'm not going to use a lot of it, I'm just going to sprinkle some of it in and just mix it. Um, I'm just going to put some more of this in and it's going to set up really nicely. So I'm just going to take my little blender and blend it. I'm done beating it and you can tell, ooh, don't pull over. you can tell that it's a lot thicker. It's just 
is hardening up a lot. You can see I didn't even use that much. There's still like a lot in here. They've been cooking now for like 10 minutes, but I've watched them because they can get really crunchy super fast. So take them out. Okay, now that our, like basically everything is done, make sure you have your jars ready and cleaned. And now we are going to crumble our little shortcakes up and put them at the bottom of the jar, just like this one. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So our bottoms are a little bit brown, happens to everyone. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut off, I want all of the soft part and I'm just gonna use the, it's easier when they're like warmer but they're kind of cooled down now, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna peel off, I hit my hands clean, don't worry. I'm just gonna peel off all of the brown part so it's all like pretty when it's in the jar and put that in there i know it's like really messy you could do this on a plate but my counter's clean so after you have just all of your brown left i'm gonna set those aside i'm gonna throw them away later i'm just gonna take this knife and just start kind of pushing it down you can put this in a food processor we tried that <laughs> my food processor is like broken so it wasn't really working I'm just gonna smush this all up and when I'll come back when it's all soft. Now that it's all crumbed up, you're gonna put it in the bottom. Actually, yeah. Now you're gonna press it down with the spoon. All right, after you put the layer of crumbs of the shortcake, we're just gonna take some of our strawberries and place them And then we're gonna do a layer of our mixture. And this is actually really good. If you guys are skeptical about it, it was really good. I tasted it. It's pretty tasty. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a layer of this in. So after I finished all my layers, I just screwed the lid on. So I'm just gonna top mine off with some ribbon. I got this at the dollar store. There you have it. Cute little desserts in a jar. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you're having a great summer because it's almost over, so enjoy it. I know she keeps bringing up school. I don't know why. She's like, are you excited for school? I'm kind of excited, okay? I'm not excited at all. It's not gonna be fun, but hope you make these. They're super delicious and oh, they're so good. And if you wanted, you could even put like a label on top if you wanted to be super crafty, but this is a crafty as I'm gonna get with it. I just wanna eat it, so we're gonna go now. Bye, Bye. guys! Is it like just out? Oh, oh it's just dough. It just tastes like dough? Mm hmm Oh, pancake mix is not good. It tastes like straight up flour. Try to taste it? Mm-hmm. It just tastes like dough. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're right. Until your little cakes are done and then that's it. <laughs>